In this video, I will be talking about problems that you might have if you have a low riser and longer stair treads. And I've seen a few of these where people are trying to connect the post to the stringer in a variety of different ways, including running all threads all the way across and blocking. And I've even seen this on one of the more popular home building channels. And I'm not about to suggest that it won't work if the risers are higher. Even though I think it's going to be better to have another support post right behind it. Like I have here. So if you have a riser that might be seven and a half inches, then you might not have a problem. Or as big of a problem connecting the post to the stringer and then using all threads to connect through or blocking. But I would imagine most of you watching this video right now can see that this right here is going to be a little bit stronger or in my opinion a whole heck of a lot stronger than something like this that could actually with enough pressure split the bottom of the stair stringer. And I know what you're saying, hey, you're going to have a riser and a tread holding all this stuff together or maybe some all threads. And that might work for this part of the stairway, but that does not mean that the bottom of the post will not split or break somehow. And this is the whole reason why I'm making the video, because I've came across a lot of this lately where the stringers aren't tall enough. And again, I'm going out of proportion here. I have a 14 inch long tread and a four inch riser. And if you're going to set a stringer with a four inch riser on top of two by four sill plates, then it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out we're not going to have a lot of room here. And in reality, something like this wouldn't really work unless we create a stronger connection a little further back and then maybe use a larger handrail cap like we have a three by four here something that is going to act kind of like a cantilever in a floor suggesting that these two boards right here will add to the lateral or side to side strength for our handrail and another thing to consider would be adding another post or a few more posts something to increase the strength of the guard railing and if it isn't too big of a problem, you could always cut a hole or dig a hole if you don't have a concrete surface like this so that we can extend the bottom of the post down into a footing and use a rated piece of lumber, something that might be pressure treated and can be buried into the ground. And of course, we're going to pour some concrete around this to make this even stronger. And my last suggestion would be to use some type of structural metal that can be bolted to the guard railing post. And something like this might last a little longer and in some cases provide you with a little more structural strength to make your local building inspector happy and create a stronger guard railing or a guard railing that's actually going to do its job.